everyone, it's Tuesday, 12th October. The time is 13 past 6 pm. And the temperature is 31 degrees. We're in Changi village. This is the Hawker Center here, but as you can see, it's closed. And uh, The plan today is to uh, walk to the uh, boardwalk. It does seem a little bit like it might be uh, raining soon. So we'll take what comes. So we're in the very northern part of Singapore at the moment, just beyond Changi Airport as well. There's a plane over there. So the planes land very close to here. This is the restaurant at the back and then uh, the little island brewing over here in the corner. And uh, we're at the start of the Changi Point Coastal Walk. On the other side of the little bridge that's coming up is Changi Be Beach Park. And uh, we'll go look at the uh, walk over to my left, past the boats that would go to uh, Pulaubin Island. I was here a little bit ago and the trees were sort of full of white parrots. I think there's some at the top at the moment. They have a very striking sound. <laughs> I wouldn't maybe call it that beautiful, but recognizable <laughs> so on that side if you cross you end up to or end up at Changi Beach Park there's the sound there you go <laughs> it's a very interesting one and these are the boats that would go I you to the uh, Pulau Ubin and there is some very big bird on that side as well but it's just sitting on the roof there I don't think the camera necessarily caught that one so we also have some very dark clouds so you can probably see and actually, uh, this walk is not fully open at the moment, so parts of it are closed for repairs. But we should be able to make our way a little bit. To where the uh, boat walk normally goes. There's a plane there, that's why I'm holding on the camera that way jet star landing and here's the thunder as well I do have an umbrella if we need it and the information board on Changi Point is a little bit worn out also not up to date because two kilometers of the walk are definitely not open at the moment.
trying to see if I can figure out where the uh, bird went, but nope, not really. Maybe we'll uh, see him again later on. There's lightning now. The other side on the big ship is going behind the trees there. Oh, there he is. So beautiful. Let's try to have a look at this one. He's right there in that tree ahead of me. So pretty. <laughs> I hope, I hope the camera is catching you. Very beautiful guy. Oh, and another one over that tree there. There's a bunch of you. Awesome. I'll just quickly show you the view here. There's a green parrot, lots of birds around today. And this is another one of those guys that's uh, in the tree over there. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you can see it well. Should be able to. And there are the white parrots again. I wonder why there are so many birds around. I don't remember so many birds around the last time I was here. You're a super fun looking guy. <laughs> okay. There are, what? At least seven of them over here. Hello guys. How's it going? Is that a baby and a mom? I guess so. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Really cool to see. I think someone over there was uh, having a little conversation with them, <laughs> whistling and uh, making sounds. So here's the notice about the park not being fully open. The first part we should be able to get to though. There's more of these guys in the trees. But let's keep going. So this is the kind of thing you would normally have here. You'd be able to walk this for two kilometers. But it's closed until uh, next year. At least. So we can make our way a little bit further. But not all the way, unfortunately. There's the beach on the other side. I think we can go through here. Um, and although that's a very beautiful beach, it looks pretty good. Um, you're not really supposed to swim there, or you're not supposed to swim there is the right thing to say, because of the boats going to uh, Blaubin and elsewhere from that area. There's one coming now. I 
And of course here in front of us, that's uh, Changi Beach Park. It's just so beautiful here, even with the weather not being uh, perfect. Oh, perfect weather is really whatever you decide, isn't it? Some like the uh, clouds as well. They suddenly give kind of a dramatic backdrop. <laughs> and of course, I guess you have Pula Wubin on the other side. This is kind of the nicest views in Singapore around the water because you don't have that kind of view of the uh, big ships, which you usually do from everywhere. So here you can kind of Imagine they're not around this island everywhere. I don't know if he's going to make his way over all the way over here. Oh well. So this would have been exactly the same if you had taken the stairs, it's just the same way really. A little bit of a scenic route that showed us a little bit more the view. So that's actually the Port Authority of Singapore now going past, taking care of the waterways. I think there are some hotels around here as well on the other side. This is not going to be so much walking as it is sort of looking at the views because we won't be able to go too far from here. But we'll go as far as uh, we can. A little bit of a wave there, hitting the beach. There's that uh, smell of the sea here. Not in a bad way, just that kind of uh, familiar as well. So I think here's a hotel on that side, which would be a quite nice view, I'd imagine. People are fishing over there and another boat coming in as well. I'll wait for the boat to go past and then we'll make our way as far as we can along here. It's quite a nice view to watch as well. I had a meeting on Sunday where I think everyone in the meeting basically was saying how uh, they had been booking their flights to go on holiday now that some new destinations are opening up for the vaccinated travel lane. Apparently it's getting quite expensive as well. 
my travels this uh, November and December are not part of that at least yet haven't been included they're mostly Singapore Airlines uh, destinations if not all of them have to get the designated flights so here's a pretty view And beyond that beach, I think uh, the way is blocked. So we can only go so far. But yeah, I was thinking about how people are going to think about travel now that it's opening up sort of a little bit and uh, it seems everyone's really excited about the uh, possibilities and uh, booking their flights because for me it's more about sort of seeing family which I haven't been able to do for a long time but I was wondering if even that would make some people feel that that can still wait but of course when sort of um, other travel is also on people's minds I feel a bit better about uh, my flights as well because I am of course coming back to Singapore after that trip there's a big bird of prey over there, I think. Difficult to see what kind. And I think now I am getting hit by some drops of water, which means I will be finding my umbrella just in case before we get hit by any more rain. Might not be, but better safe than sorry with the electronics. So I'll just quickly do that. Um, after getting caught up in the rain on <coughs> North Bridge Road, a little bit back, I also got a new umbrella, which is a lot better with wind and uh, everything really than my old one was so I feel a lot better about rain should it arrive yep we're definitely getting rain now You can also see it's a very pretty color. <laughs> so I'll slowly make my way back along here. I guess that's the only way we can go. And then if the sunset turns really beautiful while we're walking, I'll uh, turn and have a look, of course. It's not the worst looking sky at the moment that way.
people fishing and moving moving to take cover as well it starts raining <laughs> some people are running up the stairs over there another plane landing as well take another look when we get a little bit or when that one gets a little bit closer I should say I think he's just anticipating what's to come. That's right now it's not still a very heavy rain. Here's the plane. I talked to um, someone who was doing a chef who was doing new menus for their restaurant for a dinner yesterday and uh, they were saying that they're hoping to get a bigger crowd now so that they can test the menu as well so A lot of people really waiting for things to get a little bit more back to normal. Of course, Singapore has always had, under normal times, quite a lot of travelers and people going through the airport. So, of course, it would be nice to uh, see a little bit of things going back to uh, normal, I guess. And I'm sure there will be people traveling now. It seems like people from <laughs> Europe and uh, US and Canada are looking to uh, travel this way for the weather and just because it hasn't been possible. And uh, people from here equally looking to uh, go that way. trees kind of cover it over here. Wouldn't even need the umbrella. It's very quiet. Kind of weird when you get to be in places like this alone. There's someone sitting in the park alone with their umbrella. <laughs> that would make a great photo.
So we're back above the uh, boat terminal. surprise <laughs> same guys as before making a surprise leap for it hello I've never seen these guys before so I think we didn't get much of a sunset and we got the rain instead. It's not too bad, it's actually quite calming as well, so. I'm not too disappointed, I hope you're not either. Have to come back uh, another time to uh, catch a sunset here. Now walk back to uh, the bridge over there, and then I think no, I, then I think we'll end the video there. Mixing my words there a little bit. There's the. They live so we weren't very far from the sort of residential area and uh, places to eat, that sort of thing. And I think as we come here, I hope you enjoyed this look at the. on the water side on the boardwalk even though we couldn't make it as far as normal and I hope you enjoyed seeing those birds they were quite fun if you'd like to see more of the videos like this then uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'll get to know when new videos are published And in any case, thank you for joining me today for this walk. And with a view from the bridge, I uh, hope I'll see you again soon.